Greetings in Christ. Welcome to our channel, Heaven's Warning. Wishing you a blessed day in Christ. We hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. Dear brothers and sisters in faith, Today, I share with you a message of profound importance. A call to action that demands our immediate attention and response. We find ourselves at a critical juncture in human history where the Creator has issued an urgent warning about the salvation of our souls during what has been described as the awakening of consciences. This message, conveyed through the trusted Catholic confidant Lorena, emphasizes the necessity of spiritual readiness for a pivotal event known as the illumination of consciences. In this event, each of us will confront the reality of our soul as seen through the eyes of God. It will be a moment of deep introspection and revelation where our true spiritual state will be unveiled. This divine revelation is intended as a final act of mercy, offering us the opportunity to repent, convert, and align ourselves more closely with God's will before the onset of greater trials. As we navigate the spiritual challenges ahead, let us begin with a powerful prayer to the Virgin Mary, our loving and protective mother, who watches over all of God's children. With March approaching like a turbulent sea, we ask for her special intercession for all of humanity. We acknowledge, O oh Heavenly Mother, that this time will bring trials that test our faith and strength. In these moments of uncertainty and fear, we seek refuge in your goodness and maternal mercy. The world around us is fraught with peril. People are suffering and dying, and the stakes could not be higher. Daily prayer is no longer an option, but a necessity for our survival, both physically and spiritually. As we continue this message, let us begin by praising the Holy Trinity. Praised be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. This communication carries with it the weight of a final warning to humanity. It foresees the moment when God's just wrath will be unleashed upon the world as a consequence of our collective sins. But before this day of reckoning, God promises one last act of mercy an event of universal proportions meant to prepare us for what is to come. This event, the illumination of consciences, is a divine gift meant to open our eyes to the true state of our souls. The Virgin Mary has called upon the faithful remnant, those who remain true to God's word, to be the pillars of strength and support for all humanity during this time. We are urged to prepare ourselves spiritually and mentally to assist our brothers and sisters when the illumination occurs. The warning is imminent, and God's patience with sin has reached its limit. We cannot afford to jeopardize the souls who are already pious and just, those who daily present themselves before God as a source of support for the world. To prepare adequately, there is a clear expectation set forth. Daily at 3 p.m., we must kneel before the image of the crucified Christ, united in the recitation of the Chaplet of Divine Mercy and the chaplet of the most precious blood of Jesus. The two weeks that follow will be a period of intense spiritual preparation, during which we are called to fast three times a week and dedicate ourselves to specific prayers at designated times. These prayers include the Rosary of Divine Mercy, the Rosary of the Most Precious Blood of Jesus, and the Rosary of the Nine Angelic Choirs of St. Michael the Archangel. Each night, at 9 p.m., we are called to participate in 24 hours of adoration focusing on the conversion and salvation of sinners. Additionally, every morning at 8 a.m., we should offer the Holy Rosary with the intention of saving souls during the illumination of consciences. This period requires a total commitment to prayer and fraternal support. Together, as a united body of believers, we will form a spiritual fortress that will stand strong in these times of tribulation. In these critical moments, all will see their souls and consciences as God sees them. An essential part of this preparation is the involvement of children in these prayers. Their participation is crucial as we seek to protect the innocence and purity of the next generation. The Virgin Mary warns us that Satan is eager to claim many souls during this time, but she assures us that she will not allow this to happen. However, we must do our part, clothe ourselves in spiritual sackcloth, bend our knees in prayer, and intercede without ceasing. The salvation of many souls rests in our hands. The Virgin of Guadalupe has been entrusted as the leader and captain of this faithful remnant. 
Through her intercession, she will guide us as the queen of all humanity during this monumental event. We are encouraged to open our souls to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and to follow the path he sets before us. Each instruction given is vital for the conversion and salvation of souls, and we must adhere to them with diligence and sincerity. As we reach the conclusion of this message, it is essential to reflect on the clear instructions God the Father has provided us for preparing for the illumination of consciences. This prophetic moment will reveal our spiritual state, offering us a direct opportunity for repentance and conversion before facing even greater challenges. If, after the illumination and the accompanying miracle, humanity remains unchanged, then a terrible punishment will follow. The time for action is now. We cannot afford to delay. We must embrace fasting, penance, prayer, and meditation on the Holy Rosary with renewed vigor. This is not just a spiritual exercise, but a profound opportunity to align ourselves more closely with God's will, embracing the path of mercy, love, and conversion. May God have mercy on us. Let us pray together. Merciful Jesus, whose nature is to have compassion on us and forgive us, do not look at our sins but at the trust we place in your infinite goodness. Welcome us into the mansion of your compassionate heart and never let us leave it. We ask for the love that unites the Father and the Holy Spirit. Eternal Father, look with mercy on all humanity enclosed in the compassionate heart of Jesus, especially on poor sinners. By your painful passion, Show us your mercy so that we may glorify the omnipotence of your mercy forever and ever. Amen. O Virgin Mary, loving and protective mother of all God's children, as we approach the coming trials, we seek your intercession for all humanity. You, who know the deepest desires of our hearts, hear our prayers and protect us with your sacred mantle. Strengthen our faith and grant us the serenity to endure the challenges ahead. May your divine light guide us through the darkness and may we discern God's will with wisdom and clarity. O oh Mary, Queen of heaven and earth, pray for us. Supported by your powerful intercession, may we overcome all difficulties and remain steadfast in faith and love. Amen. This message is of utmost importance and must be shared globally. It serves as an ultimatum for humanity, a divine call to prepare for the day when God's just wrath will be unleashed. Before this day arrives, God's final act of mercy will be extended to every person, offering a chance for conversion through the illumination of consciences. Let us heed this call and prepare to stand as pillars and apostles in these last times. The time for warning is now, and we must not delay in our response. Together, let us form a spiritual fortress, ready to face the trials ahead with faith, love, and unwavering commitment. Dear brothers and sisters, the message has been delivered, and the path has been set before us. Let us remain united in prayer, steadfast in our faith, and ready to support one another in these final days. May the peace and light of Christ guide us always. Thank you for being part of this journey. Your presence and engagement make this exploration meaningful and impactful. Until next time, may you find inspiration and hope in the shared stories of our human experience.